Hi there, my name is Taylor Sipos, and I'm a registered physiotherapist at the Orthopedic Therapy Clinic located in downtown Toronto. I recently published a blog article on our clinic website that goes over effective treatment options for rotator cuff related pain. Today I'd like to go through my article and show you some progressions of exercises that I commonly give out to people with rotator cuff pain. To view the original article, you can take a look at the link in the description below. In the early stages of rehab for rotator cuff related pain, patients will usually present with limited range of motion. They'll have pain when doing things that involve reaching above their shoulder height, such as combing or brushing their hair. Range of motion exercises can be used to improve someone's mobility as well as reduce their pain. One exercise that can be used to improve overhead mobility is a broomstick stretch, where the patient uses their good arm to lift up the broomstick while letting their painful arm go along with the motion. Additionally, a wall slide exercise can be used. The wall slide allows a patient to improve their range of motion while using the support of the wall. In the early stages of rehab, I also like to prescribe posture-related exercises. Posture can have a significant impact on the shoulder, and I sometimes see patients that come into the clinic with a forward head posture, rounded shoulders, and a rounded back as well too. Chin tucks are a simple exercise to promote better neck posture. This exercise can also improve the overall function of the neck, which can be a key player in shoulder pain. Exercises to improve the mid-back or the thoracic spine are also very helpful in the early stages of rehab. Improving the ability to extend the spine is really important for shoulder health as it's required for full overhead mobility. Finally, doing some simple strengthening exercises like banded rowing can improve the function of our muscles that keep us in that good upright posture. When pain is settled down and range of motion has been improved, it's really important to begin loading the rotator cuff muscles. This will help patients go back to higher level activities that place more demands on their rotator cuff. A side-lying external rotation exercise is a great place to start with strengthening. It's a relatively low demand exercise, but research has shown that it's one of the best exercises for strengthening the supraspinatus, which is the most commonly injured rotator cuff muscle. Once patients have mastered this exercise, it can be progressed to something more functional like an overhead press. This exercise will continue to strengthen the rotator cuff muscles, but also prepare patients for more vigorous activities needed to complete in their daily lives. Along with exercise therapy, treatment can also include manual therapy and acupuncture. I typically use these in the early stages of rehab to help with pain control and to improve range of motion. These techniques should always be used alongside a tailored exercise program. So if you think you may be experiencing rotator cuff related pain, book an assessment with myself at the Orthopedic Therapy Clinic. You can do that by calling our number at 416-925-4687. You can also take a look at our website to look at other rotator cuff related content. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at a previous video I completed, which goes over the basics of a rotator cuff assessment. Also make sure to like and subscribe. And if you know anybody that might enjoy this video, feel free to share with them.